I'm sorry, I'm just developing that point, and I think, you know, the whole concept of um, the earth in Islam is the renaissance of Islam, and clearly this resonated quite widely in India, and mm. the promised Messiah, certainly in the earlier days, was recognized as a champion of Islam, a defender of human rights. Indeed, this recognition of human rights and the message and the revival of Islam that Hazrat Masih Mahad brought along is very appropriate to the current age. For example, one of the you know, bringing it right to the current date and the current debates which are currently occurring, particularly in relation to Islam, is this whole concept of jihad and what it actually means in its true essence. Indeed, I, I know we've got a question here from Shazad uh, Rafiq Saab, Jazakullah, from Coventry, who sent it in, and I'll just uh, re relay that for all our viewers. And he writes, and his question is, if Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was given permission to physically defend himself from religious persecution, then why do Amdi Muslims not also physically defend themselves from similar persecution? But clearly there was a profound recognition by Hazrat Masih Ma'ad al on the true definition of jihad. Perhaps you can develop that and answer that particular question. Uh, well, I think it's a very interesting question and very commonly asked these days particularly, when unfortunately the beautiful name of Islam is being equated with killing. People say erroneously that jihad means killing and bloodshed. Of course, and while the fact is very much different. Yeah. But the question that uh, this gentleman has asked, I think in his question lies the answer of the question. Because he himself has mentioned that when the Holy Prophet وسلم, was permitted, only then he took the sword. So it means permission from God Almighty is the most important thing. Unless the permission is given, the Holy Prophet وسلم, did not take the sword. We look at his life, the early part of that, after he was commissioned as a prophet at the age of 40. Uh, after that, 13 long years, he stayed in uh, Mecca. In that period, such permission was not there, while the persecution was going on. So every day was a day of persecution. Every night was a night of persecution. And the, um, the Holy Prophet وسلم, and his companions, they had to spend almost three years in Shabi Abi Talib, when they were completely cut off. All the provisions, they were not uh, able to reach him, uh, reach them. So that was really a very, very difficult period. And it was not only one or two days, 13 long years. But as long as the permission was not there, so the Holy Prophet وسلم, did not take the sword. So he did not defend while the persecution was there. And particularly in this age, coming to this question, that why the Ahmadis do not react in the same way by killing the other people, taking the sword in their hand, while they are being persecuted. Persecution is right. But the question is whether do we have the permission from God to do like that in this age? This is the age of the promised Messiah who is a subordinate prophet to the Holy Prophet and the spiritual advent of the Holy Hadrat Isa that is why he is known as the promised Messiah. About that the Holy Prophet has mentioned categorically in making a prophecy in his saying Vayazaul Harb that when his time would come, he would postpone the fighting. The fighting with sword will be postponed. That will be no more there. That will not be the time when the Muslims will be allowed to fight back. In, in the same, they would not be allowed to pay back in the same coin as the torture is being imposed upon them. Rather, it is mentioned there that they would be defending the faith of Islam in the same way as generally the people are attacking the faith of Islam. And we see that although rumors and uh, misunderstandings and misconceptions are being spread, but a very important point is not the sword, but the pen. And the pen is there, the weapon actually, in the hands of the opponents of Islam in these days. They are writing books, they are writing fiction, there are stories, newspapers, television also comes into that one. So these are the ways in which they are spreading, uh, uh, I mean, try to defame Islam and spread a lot of misunderstandings. So that is what is meant there, that this is the time to defend by the same weapon which the enemies are using, and that is a pen. That is why Hazrat Masih Maud Salaam has mentioned in one of his uh, Urdu verse, just a part of that, he says, Saif ka kaam kalam se hai dikhaya hamne, that instead of using the sword, we have used the pen. And by writing the books, he wrote uh, nearly 90 books on various subjects, and he always defended this aspect of Islam, it's a beautiful religion, it's a peaceful religion, and that is what was intended there. So he continued to wage the holy jihad in the peaceful way, 
by using fully to the full extent the weapon of pen a peaceful way of defending the cause of Islam and that is how he has performed it. Indeed I, I think all viewers will recognize indeed scholars often when debating about Hazrat Masih Maudulah talk about his profound defense of Islam through his writings and in the in that particular guise may I remind viewers that um, you should be and continue to send in your emails write to us and just for viewers interest you can actually email us on faith matters that's one word at mta.tv I'll repeat that again that's faith matters one word at mta.tv and those who are not inclined to use the email well we've got a fax number for you as well and that's the international UK code which is 44208 687 8037 I'll repeat that again UK 44208 68 687 8037 I do hope the technology is working well and all things being equal that should have appeared on your screens as well if I can continue, yeah. Point of jihad because it is as, as a current subject, as you have mentioned. And it's interesting to see that how the concept of jihad before the promised Messiah, alayhi salam, was taken, and how after the promised Messiah over the hundred years, we now have actually seen some transition in the view of Muslims around the world. And that has been primarily brought about by the writings of the promised Messiah, alayhi salam, and after him by the teachings of the Khulafa who have guided the Jamaat as to the true nature of Jihad. Jihad uh, previously used to be talked of as fighting in the way of Allah. Now it has been understood as striving in the way of Allah. And we know that Islam is a universal religion and therefore we have to abide by the laws of the country and the laws of the nation wherever we live. Imam Sahib has rightly pointed out that now is the age of reason and uh, not of uh, holy wars. And so the war of the pen that the Promised Messiah started has been continued by the uh, Khalifas of the uh, Ahmadiyya community, in fact, defending the name and the honor of the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And in recent years, we have seen, following the Satanic uh, verses, and more recently, the Denmark cartoons, the uh, uh, sermons of Hazrat Khalifa al Masih, which have been printed, are uh, expound the, these uh, views very vehemently and correctly. So this is the teaching of Islam that we need to portray that have been brought to us and clarified by Hazrat Masih Mahdi alayhi salam in this regard. Dr. Zahid, just to pick up on that point, if I may, is it not, you know, and you see it now as well, whereas other Muslims um, used to attack the Jamaat Amdiya viewpoint on jihad as being erroneous, it, far from it. They sure. now are actually following the same uh, message and are actually quite vocal in saying that jihad is exactly the jihad definition that Hazrat Masih Mahdi al-Islam It's very pleasing. It's very pleasing to see that where before they would be burning, burning the books in the streets and yeah. causing mayhem, now the Ahmadiyya stance has taken. Obviously, they have taken that on board as well, and that was one of the functions of the Promised Messiah al -Salam, of uh, removing the misconceptions that had been brought into Islam by people.